Taurus. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your personal reading requests, your your donations, your love. Thanks for clicking on this video. This is a reading for you for the 21st of February through to the 28th. And let's see what's coming up. Okay, I'm going to take those four. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take those three as well. Wow, well, let's see what we got. Okay, so. Two of Cups. A union of two people who come from different places. Uh, maybe have different belief systems, different cultures. The Sun. Best card in the deck. You might need to take a leap of faith for this coupling. The Emperor. Walking away from the past. Definitely walking away from the past. And driving into the future. As the doors to the past close, the doors to the future open. And you can lay those burdens down. And you can use any of the gifts, skills or abilities that you have gained, that you have learned, that you have come to be accustomed to in the future. Wow. So we've got the sun and we've got the strength card. So kind of Leo showing up in your reading there, Taurus. Three of Cups, party time. Teamwork makes the dream work, working in a community and harvest. Leading to a harvest for all concerned. Okay, Taurus. Okay. So, as above, Two of Cups, so below the sun, yes to this coupling as above the fool so below the emperor taking a leap of faith into your power as above eight of cups so below six of cups walking away from the past walking away from past relationships walking away from past energy walking away from past jobs walking away from the past walking away from things that no longer serve you could be habits driving into the future the car as above so below, three of keys, new doorways, new property, ten of wands, laying those burdens of the past down, five of swords, using your skills to achieve things for you, to bring things towards you, to manifest things for you. Strength above, three of cups below. And the harvest card there at the end. So I'm going to pull you. Actually, no, I'm going to shuffle for them this time. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so independence. This energy that you're moving into is going to bring about independence for you. The ability to have plenty of wealth for yourself and to share with others. Maybe invest in other people's projects. That was the King of Swords. And making a logical decision on this. Yes, going with the heart, the spirit, the feelings that we get. But Swords, logic, 
making a logical decision on this king of swords. Ten of swords. The past is dead, done and over with. So that could be an air sign. Because to have two swords like that, king of swords, ten swords. That's what I'm getting intuitively. Temperance. Calmness, alchemy. For this two of cups, the sun. That's how the reading starts, so that's the main energy. And the hierophant. Initiation, apprenticeship, mastery. Being part of something bigger than you ever could have imagined. Great Hierophant card there, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to pull one more of these. Because we've got five. Let's make it six. Ah, and the Seven of Pentacles again. So that's the universe saying, I meant what I said about the harvest. You're not going to need to worry about money in, in the future if you follow these steps, which is this Eight of Cups, Six of Cups, the past is the past. Oh, okay, thank you, Taurus. Thanks for being here. Lots of love. Take care. Bye. Well,